All right, so today I'm taking a look at home base status report 12 1 2021 for Fortnite Save the World. And let's see what we have. So, to start off, we have the uh, Robo Kevin starter pack. This will be replacing what's the current one? Lars starter pack? I'm not sure. We also have the um, Battle Rail end event, which from what I've read will lead to downtime for a little while. No big deal about that, but as it says here, recently commanders have gained the ability to earn battle pass XP through or for completing missions and save the world. That is actually a big change. I absolutely love it. Each season lasts a specific amount of time, some shorter or longer than others. Thank you, Epic, for clarifying that you delay things. Uh, this impacts the level of battle pass experience required to reach max level. Because of this, commanders may see some adjustments to the battle pass XP earned in Save the World with each season launch. I think what they're saying is that um, with each battle pass, it can have different lengths, um, whether that's planned or delayed. And because of that, the battle pass XP that we earn in Save the World might be adjusted or changed per season, say, uh, to kind of balance it out so it's not like an underwhelming amount, but it's also not an overwhelming amount, I'd like to imagine. But uh, so far, I'm actually loving the change. So, as I was saying earlier, the new um, upcoming Robo Kevin starter pack. Home base is triangular technologist. I didn't know that I could pronounce that, actually. Um, has made the ultimate upgrade to, uh, to his favorite and nifty gadget, himself. Makes sense. Um, the Robo Kevin pack arrives on December 5 at 10 a.m. E There's going to be downtime at December 5. What? Hold on. So they're launching a starter pack during downtime. Why? Uh, the Robo Kevin pack brings a new hero and outfit, which is, uh, of course, right over here. Uh, Kevin, the yellow robot man, pretty cool looking. The Whirr back bling, <laughs> I suppose just this uh, interesting gadget. The Power Pick Pick Ave. That says Pick Ave. I'm going to assume that's meant pickaxe, okay. So the, this pretty awesome looking pickaxe, I actually kind of like the colors, but overall I don't think I'm buying the starter pack personally. And of course the Robo Kevin challenges, which, or well, Robo Kevin challenges and access to save the world. So these challenges will earn you up to a thousand V-Bucks and a thousand X-Ray tickets. For people who don't already own save the world and buying it through this pack, you do have to keep in mind that you are only limited to a thousand V-Bucks with this pack. And then after that, you'll only be able to earn X-Ray tickets, which are a V-Bucks alternative for buying llamas. So as of December 4th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Black Knight Garden makes his impactful return to the event store and the, Me and the Merry Melee Frost Knight Challenge. That is a tongue twister. Merry Melee Frost Knight Challenges calls for close combat. So Black Knight Garden, as standard, so when he's in your um, team, he increases hardware impact by 33%. As commander, he increases hardware impact by 75%, and additionally, his go and constructor ability can trigger kinetic overload. He also comes with a team perk kinetic overdrive. Kinetic overload occurs an additional time. I'm not big on um, playing constructor, and I'm especially not big with um, hardware weapons, so I don't really know that much about kinetic overload or the uh, kinetic overdrive team perk. If there is someone who knows a lot about this in the comments, please uh, explain something because I would highly appreciate that. And of course, the um, Frost Knight challenges week two, Merry Melee. The brutal winter cold has frozen up all your ranged weapons, making them no good here. That means it's time to get up close and personal with your with your melee weapons. Overcome this challenge, and you'll and you'll and you will be fittingly rewarded with the most festive melee weapon, the Tree of Light. Yes, um, so basically this is a banner that you can earn for completing the challenge. You'll be able to find this in the quest log um, after, the, after the 4th of December at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. 
and completing the challenge gives you the Tree of Light. It is a actually really, really fun sword. It has a sixth perk, it actually talks about it down here, where every eight hits, uh, you actually stun your enemy. And I think this is a really uh, fun, interesting sixth perk. And overall, I think the weapon's highly recommended by a lot of people. Even I would highly recommend getting it. So if you have the time and you can run Frost Knight, I think it's like 30 minutes Merry Melee challenge. Then, yeah, it's definitely worth getting. Obviously, I already have the schematic for it. So I'm probably not going to be desperately going for it. But I might end up getting it anyways. Coming on December 11 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, the Ice Queen returns in the event store along with the Coco 45 pistol, both of which in the event store. Uh, there's also a new, or in the New Wave Frost Knight challenge, and the toys have rebelled in the Misfits quest or Misfits Toys quest line. So Ice Queen comes back in standard. Uh, she increases damage against frozen enemies by 14%. And as Commander, increases damage against frozen enemies by 14%, and the Seismic Smash ability will also freeze enemies for 2.75 seconds. So, um, one way, in my opinion, you can really take advantage of Ice Queen's uh, increased damage to frozen enemies is by having another teammate play as Ice King, or by using a lot of floor freeze <laughs> traps. <laughs> because you'll constantly be having enemies frozen, and, w and while they're frozen, you're getting 14% more damage. Additionally, Seismic Smash does freeze enemies if she's your commander, and you can do that on Smashers from what I remember. It's been a long time since I've used Ice Queen. The same time Ice Queen comes out, we also have the Coco 45. Really um, fun pistol. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's actually necessarily like a great, great weapon, but I know it's like really fun. Uh, the projectiles that it shoots like bounce off walls, pass through enemies. It's really fun to ricochet them around like in a tunnel. Super fun. Haven't used the Coco 45 in a long time. Maybe I'll level it up soon. And then of course Frost Knight challenges week 3. New wave holiday. The horde is getting restless and the waves keep coming. The only way to advance is to eliminate the given number of husks. That says husk, but I mean husks. Uh, but be warned. There's snow hair to hide. Ah, that, that's a funny pun, actually. I hope that is actually intended, because otherwise that's stupid. Um, making it through this packed edition of Frost Knight will reward you with the coolest festive hero, Jingle Jess. I get this is supposed to be a pun sentence, but I wouldn't say coolest. There's definitely a cooler uh, holiday hero. So, of course, Jingle Jess. Increases Teddy duration by 4 seconds as standard and as commander by t duration by 12 seconds. I personally use Jingle Jess a lot for a uh, Happy Holidays team perk like Teddy's spam. Very low cooldown, like really fun to just keep Teddy up constantly. But to be honest, you don't actually need Jingle Jess uh, desperately by any means. Um, if you're unable to do the challenge but you want a hero that can do this, there is uh, Enforcer Grizzly, base game Outlander, uh, has the exact same perk. I personally use Jingle Jess, but I, I know there is a base game hero that can do this. I'll probably throw up a picture of this while editing to kind of uh, show what I'm talking about, but yeah. Moving on, the Misfits Toys questline, or Misfit Toys, I keep reading Misfits. Almost tempted to inspect element to fix that even though there's nothing to fix because that's actually correct. They are bad toys. Jelly Teacup's recent identity crisis has led to the biggest and only toy rebellion in home basis history. Yeah, that's no surprise that it's the only. Um, help Ray and the crew quell? Quell? Quell the toy rebellion and you will unlock the life-sized automated tea party or tea party pal herself, Jelly Teacup. So of course, um, I would highly recommend completing the uh, quest line for this, as Jilly Teacup is a really good hero, and she unlocks Happy Holidays, which is an incredible team perk, has so many uses and so many different builds. But as standard, Jilly Teacup has a Teddy with 100% crit chance against new targets and a 5% chance to malfunction. Uh, during this malfunction, Teddy finds a new target 
for each shot. As commander, it's still a 100% crit chance against new targets and a 5% chance to malfunction, but uh, during the malfunction, Teddy not only finds a new target after every shot, but zaps an enemy for 51 base energy damage, and the zapped targets deal 51% energy damage to surrounding enemies. And of course, the uh, Happy Holidays theme park that I was just talking about uh, over about a minute ago, not even a minute ago, um, requires two heroes with two or more stars, but reduces your ability cooldowns by 40%, and that stacks independently from other cooldown perks. So this means that um, you can use a hero in commander that does a cooldown for say shockwave or seismic smash and you can use happy holidays as your team perk to get the cooldown even more. This is really useful if you want to run uh, any hero that does a or any loadout for ability focused and especially any hero on say an, or any hero that has an ability cooldown perk and there are quite a few heroes that do this. I named Shockwave and uh, Seismic Smash as my two examples, but I'm positive there's a lot more that I just can't think of right now. So that's all we have for this home base stats report. I will link this down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And of course, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. I don't know how you would enjoy me reading, um, reading a stats report, but if you have any opinions on any of these items, even the banners to be honest, uh, let me know in the comments because I'm very curious how other people feel about a lot of these items. And with that being said, I'm out.